so in C++ also uh, we know the types of constructor is the default constructor parameterless constructor and the parameterized constructor right so uh, you can differentiate between the parameterless and default constructor uh, is like this if there is no constructor available inside the class then by default one constructor gets provided at the time of compilation when you create an object of n class so it is known as a default constructor parameterless constructor is like this uh, it's a user defined zero argument constructor you can say but it is user defined it is not the uh, provided at the time of compilation so it is defined by the user so like wise you can go this parameterless and default it is a compiler provided it is an instance at the time of object user is creating this parameterized is an argument constructor of the class and uh, we are defining definitely programmer is defining this okay so we will see the demo on uh, default parameterless and the parameterized constructor okay so we'll go to the program so suppose i have a this one student.java so i define a class student okay now uh, I define private integer role number. So you follow the camel notation in Java. You define the variables. And suppose I go with a string as a new. And here string plus is capital because it is a class. I define one constructor. This is a student. So Before to define a constructor, I will go straight forward. Suppose I want to test this case. Now, suppose I create a class uh, object for a student. So it will work or not, right? So definitely it will work because here I write one method. Okay. If I go with this, so what is output of the program? So what is output in this case? I created object. This is my object. Uh, this is a variable. This is a reference variable pointing to this object. And when object gets created, definitely constructor gets called. And in the class, there is no constructor available, right? So compiler will provide the default constructor 
to initialize the data members this one and this one so this private variable is a type int so it is initialized to its default value this is object type string so it is initialized to none right so it's a object using that constructor and those values get stored to this obg and obg dot display now what is the value of roll number is zero and here is a empty it's a null right so we'll look the output for this so i save this file with the name test student because my main method is available in a test student so file name must be the class name where the main method exists with big uh, main method exist uh, because at the time of execution we want this right so java c so uh, this is available in a class demo so java c test so okay so there is no return time now it is compiled successfully and just run the program with the same class name where main method exist now look at zero and this is null right it is uninitialized so uh, who provides this value it is by the default constructor so here no, there is no any garbage values in cpp there is a garbage values because when you create a object it is not a dynamic object it is a stat it is a uh, uh, static object and it is on a stack the brigades are located on the stack for c plus plus but here you are working with a new operator and the object gets created on a heap and at that time the values are assigned to the variables uh, with its default default values the data type uh, uh, with respect to the, its data type okay now suppose i provide my constructor is this one so how to write the constructor definitely is like this and if i go like this roll number is equal to 101 and suppose the name is equal to this one as yes. so now what is output of the program so in this case the same syntax is here but the, here the user defined parameterless constructor gets called because parameterless constructor is available <coughs> inside the class now what is output of the program is the as per the your initialization java c so again compile it java test look at it's 101 and the as because in a parameterless constructor these values are assigned but parameterless constructor basically used to assign the default values like this is empty string and now it's zero okay now so you will say sir what is the use of then provide the parameterless constructor if i don't want to provide the default constructor are doing the same thing right so suppose you provide the suppose here you provide the parameter sized constructor so this is integer and string no. okay so to differentiate uh, these things you have to use with the, this pointer remember oh, because these are the instance variables minus Now, uh, suppose here I remove this, 
or a comment i comment this and if you try to create an object using this type of syntax using parameter list constructor the same program is here only i recommended the parameter list constructor and only i provided parameters but here i am not calling any parameter list constructor right because syntax is a parameter list constructor but check the error look the error constructor student in a class student cannot be applied to the given type this one this so this syntax will not work because the rule in the program uh, if within a class you are providing parameterized constructor and if you are trying to create object using parameter less then it gives you error so either you have to provide both constructors or don't provide any constructor so that is a rule now it will work so that's why uh, please provide a parameter less also par and parameterize also this is a programmer responsibility and what is the use of parameterized constructor here i can pass it right so this is suppose x y z right now you are calling parameterized constructor so this is initialized and the output will store into the respective variables of respective object now check it so it is 101 102 x y z correct so here this is a object one i can say this is my object two this this is parameterless this is parameterized so what is output of object two zero and empty string right? check it So one zero to x y z zero constructor. Okay. So this is related to the constructors parameterless and parameterized, and your default. Okay. Default means if there is no constructor at all inside the class, uh, and you are trying to create an object. So at that time, compiler will provide the constructor. That is a zero argument constructor, and it initializes the Value to its default data type as per the default data type, the default values as per the data type. Sorry, so uh, this is the role of the default parameterless user defined constructor without argument, without parameters to initialize the value to the data member. Parameterized with arguments as per the arguments data is initialized to its data member. Okay, so any doubt related to this?